What's up everybody? I wanted to do another update on my F-250. I did uh, a video earlier, just kind of showing it to you. And uh, since then I've bought a set of uh, one ton F-350 axles for it. And the other day we uh, took the old rear end out, uh, put this one ton rear end in it. I don't have everything hooked up to it. I basically just rolled the old one out, put this one in it, just hooked up the U-bolts. You know, you have to have brakes, the shocks, sway bar, even dry set hooked up. It's just all kind of dangling, but at least I can move the truck around if I need to, as far as this end goes. A fella came and uh, bought the rear end, so me and him switched it out yesterday, and He's going to come back in a couple of days and get the front axle. So I've already gotten started on it. Blocked up the front end and I've unhooked the, the axle where it's, where it bolts up there in the middle, in the middle where it pivots right there. The steering stabilizer, the brakes. Uh, one thing left is the, where the pitman on there. I couldn't quite get that to come loose, but. I gotta unhook that, that'll just be the U-bolts. That won't take long and then this axle should drop out. And he'll he'll get that. So once he once he gets this one, gets this one out, we'll put the my other axle over here in. So I got this F-350 solid axle for it. Uh kingpin. Still not sure what the gear ratio is until I pull the cover off, but uh, I'm, whatever it is, I'm probably going to end up changing it. I like to put 456 gears in it and uh, get that taken care of and then clean the axle up, paint it, go through the brakes, uh, you know, grease everything. If anything needs replacing the seals or anything like that, I'll go ahead and take care of that. Uh, why it's you know before I start driving it again I had these spacers on the on the old axles because when you turn the wheel on the front it would rub so I put I put spacers on the front so they wouldn't hit anything and then you could see that the front tires were sticking out further than the the back ones because they're kind of I mean they don't stick out any but I had to put the spacers on the back too so when I put this axle in I didn't put them back on there I want to see how it does with the with the uh I put the new front axle on see what it does I actually like the way the tire sitting it's just under that piece of trim there on the wheel well so I don't like them I don't really like it sticking out that far so uh, I hope I can make it work like this but I think this is either a 10 and a half, 10 and a quarter, whatever the size is. I'm not an uh, expert on these. But I know this is a F-350 axle. I was told it could possibly be positive traction, but I won't know until I get down, get down into it. And like I said, I still don't know what the gear ratio is yet. But if it's not 456, I'm going to change it to that. And, uh, so... Just wanted to give a quick update on this. I have the I've been having some problems with the steering column. For a lot of you guys that have the same model truck have the same problem too. Is that uh, I believe it's called an actuator or something, ignition actuator. It's a piece of uh, aluminum pot metal, cast aluminum. And so I pulled the the uh, steering column out and. Uh, Got that at a, a guy's shop and he's working on it. So, can't really move this one right now. This truck here actually has the same problem. Hit the key and let's start right there. That's just not, it's not engaging the the lock cylinder's not engaging the starter switch. Uh, but yeah, a lot of work left to do yet.
but it's, it's coming along. I mean, halfway done, you know, at least installing them. And I hope to have this one going soon. Cause I haven't had a truck in a while. I missed my truck, but uh, it's coming along. And then, you know, I bought this one, the flip. And once I get the steering column back for this one, I gotta pull this one out and do the same thing. And this one needs a wheel cylinder on that back tire there. And uh, I'll probably just try to sell this one. It's just a 150 with a 302 five speed. Did a video on this one not long ago. But it's, it's dent free as far as I know, rust free, best I could tell on it. It's actually probably a little bit cleaner than this one is. but. Anyhow, uh, just wanted to show that off. I'll do another video once it's done. But we were we were working hard on it yesterday, pretty much all day. And uh, you know, just trying to get that that rear axle in. Now I gotta get back on this motor because I hopefully I will hope I can rebuild this and put it in that truck. I got a lot of uh, parts here. But yeah, uh, hopefully in the next two or three days I'll have this axle in and it'll go smooth. It should be a pretty easy swap because it'll it'll bolt right up to the the uh, leaf springs on this one. And I don't even have to worry about those brackets in the middle for it to pivot on. So like, like I said, I'll do another video once it's done. I'm gonna check it out. Thanks for watching.